This coverage is brought to you by Rami Rent. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more disc golf media coverage. We're here at the third stop on the European Pro Tour. This is the Tuni Open here at Sibbe Disc Golf Course. Got the MPO Round 2 Back 9 coverage. I'm Tony Farrell. And with him, Connor Wood, coming off a scorching round to front nine. These players are really heating up here as we move into the easier of the two nines. These players really setting themselves up with a strong round two as they push to have that strong start to round three. Some beautiful throws coming out. Excited to see what we have here today. It's crazy to think that this is going to be the easier of the two back nines. Looking at all that green on the scorecards. So we see our leader, Lauri Lettinen, right now sitting at 13 under, three strokes over Silver at 10 down, who is chasing him in second place. Well, let's kick into some disc golf coverage. Got hole 10, par 4, 157 meters, open tee shot until you get into this forest. Got this hump with the big old rock here. After you get up and over that, you're going to be curving to the left. Just got one more tunnel to deal with, slightly uphill with lots of trees in the middle of the fairway. Get yourself up on the green. Try to catch a birdie on the back nine to start it off. I know these guys are going to want it. As we see some milder conditions today, slightly less warm, but still about 20 degrees Celsius. And with lower winds, scoring conditions are prime. We see silver up first. Heiser flip looking a little bit right. That did not fade out for him. He is going to be pinched off on the right side of the fairway. We see Lowry here now. If he can make the correction, also hangs it out very wide, but looked to get just a little kiss off the trees. And in fact, came a little bit too left at the end of the day. Might have mm -hmm. a straddle out from there. Yeah, that looks to be even more pinched off. Hopefully he didn't s slide too far behind those trees. Niklas doing the right shot there. Wow, that got around the corner. He really did split the difference between those first two shots. Tuomas here, seeing the line from Niklas, looking really nice out of the hand as it fights its way up the fairway. Might Best be a bit pinched, but that's so far up that I think he'll be very happy with that great shot by Tuomas. Yeah, I still think that's in the fairway per se. Little sidearm stretch out, that should be no big deal to get up and down. It's not too big of a par four. On a couple holes, this course does have a funny tendency to look like they're scrambling when they're in the middle of the fairway. It looks like there's just rough everywhere, but simply some good woods golf. There's Lowry here from the knee. Yeah, he was quite a bit behind those trees on the left side. And just pitching a sidearm Annie around the corner. But it did kind of go back into the forest. I think you're right. He didn't quite clear himself of those trees. We do see Nicholas lining up the forehand approach here. Mm. That is really nice rock for Nicholas. Beautiful as he just dissects this hole. Two simple shots from him there to give himself a very nice look at birdie. Lowry seems to be clear. He is straddling out, but at least has a open look up the fairway. A little sidearm pop, and that will park the basket. Oh, yeah. Tuomas now. On his approach, throws a low to the ground forehand and Heiser and slides on up as well. Good nah, touchy he approaches. Really, he didn't have much left from that drive. That was a huge tee shot. 
Silver now through the trees, trying to line up something. Oh, even gives it the height, but a little too much as he slides over the top. What an effort there. That was really through the bush, but being too high on the uphill putt. You see Tulmas cashing in his birdie to start off the back nine. That's the way. Great start for him. We see Silver now lining up his par putt. Puts himself in. As we see now Lowry and Nicholas come tap in their birdies. Nicely uh, done. These are a couple of park jobs here. This is textbook play on this par four. Niklas routine oriented, not taking any chances and make sure to put that one in. Good birdies to get us started. Oh yeah, tap that in. Oh, that's oh, a par. Oh, Lowry with the par. Of course, because oh, he, he went drive. back into the early tree line, pitched out, but he'll take a four there. No worries. Tell us about hole 11. All right. Got another par three. 113 meter downhill shot teeing off of this big old rock again after you come through this line of trees to beat gonna open up in this green try to land your disc nice and soft around this tire surrounded basket OB is surrounding but it's pretty far outside the circle shouldn't be much in these guys heads Nicholas up first, throwing a nice nose down backhand, just a laser beam right up to the basket, slides right on past. I was waiting for that thing to fade, and it just did not. I actually thought it was going to hit one of the tires, but it just squeaked right by it. And Tuomas, that is a beautiful flip up hyzer, just catching a couple leaves to leave him a little short. But he still has an open look for the ba for the birdie. Silver, look at this forehand gap right of that first tree, looking for a little flex, but catches some of the branches which drop him a tad early. He'll have a long look or a easy approach. Yeah, if there was anything to nitpick about Silver, it would be that his disc seemed to be flipping over too much just needs to increase the stability I think just one disc up and it probably would have a much better success off the tee as he just pops it right up there at the base of those tires he'll take an easy three we'll see if our other competitors here can find that too Thomas with a lofty bid brings it down right by the basket that was a solid half go. That was about mid-circle, too. Don't want to do anything too crazy. Give yourself a big comebacker. Oh, but this man from Lowry coming up a little short. I almost just thought that was for sure going in. And you can see the frustration out of him as he hits metal on a long putt. He really has a high expectation for himself. Nicholas now for his birdie. Oh, so close. All right, Lowry up to save the par. A little bit of work left. <gasps> no way. Oh, very uncharacteristic miss from that man there. May just be in his head a little bit after missing that circle two putt. We'll be taking the four, unfortunately, and Tuomas tapping in his three. Nicholas the same. Yeah, it just looked like overcorrection there. One was a little bit off to the right, just tried to correct on the release point and then left it too low. Nicholas cleaning up that par. And Silver will do the same here. No birdies on tricky hole 11 for this lead card. 
Little fun fact, did you notice Silver's bag is all blue discs? Beautiful. All right, let's get into hole 12, par three, 108 meters. Open downhill tee shot, just curving right to left. Righty backhands are gonna come in with a big spike hyzer or a low skipping hyzer. Just gotta land yourself nice and soft by the basket as the OB is real close. We see Nicholas here trying to set the tone for hole 12. Looks for that higher, wider hyzer. We'll see if he can get some ground play and battle the hill. There it is. Oh, yeah. Nice shot. Little he short. looks to be just within the circle, probably seven, eight meters. Tomas up next. Going also with the big spike hyzer. Let's see if he gets a little bit more air time. Oh, he uh, does, but he watch gets... Watch out. <gasps> <gasps> oh, wow, Playing that was fire. close. Silver now. Bit flatter, not so spiky. Let's see if he can hang on. Yeah, much better than yesterday. Just a little short. Who we'll be in circle two? We see Lowry here now. Hopefully he can recover after that bogey on 11. I'd like to see him put in a good throw here. Well, this looking good out of the hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. A few claps from the gallery. This tournament brought to you, presented, rather, by Latitude 64. Coverage brought to you by MDG. We see Silver here for a long birdie look. Mm, just high right. But solid effort. Niklas up next. Looking to settle in his birdie. Super Beauty. smooth. Brings him to four down for the round. Nine down total. And two through the last three. Nick Nicholas looking very comfortable now. Thomas with a scary OB directly behind, just not giving it the height. That will be his three as well. Lowry for his two. Beautiful. Good correction from the last two putts on the last hole. Gives you the confidence boost back, telling yourself, no, it's no slump. That was just a flu cold. Silver now for his par save. Right in the heart. Keeping it going. <laughs> Little game of footsie there between Tuomas and Silver, but two parts and two birds. Hole 13, par three, 103 meters. Got a soft left to right turn. OB surrounding all around the basket. Got some space right to left, but behind the basket is very close. Not too difficult of a hole. Just control that landing. Get yourself a birdie. And as you mentioned in round one, this hole uncharacteristically friendly of Seabed Disc Golf Park here. Nice and wide open. Of course, that OB is tight. Still a demanding shape and distance control, but a little friendlier, a few less trees than most of the other holes here. Yeah, a much more manufactured hole than what the rest of the course is like. There are some OB surrounding holes, but most of them have tunnels to hit or, you know, OBs to clear or rocks to get over or something involved in this. This is just a flat shot 
out in the open. And Lowry coming up just a little bit short, but nice and safe for an open putt. Nicholas did throw it along that right side, hugging the line the whole way. Seems to have brought himself just in bounds. We'll see Tuomas now. Flipping up his hyzer forehand to flat for a second before it fades out. Look at that. Beauty park job. Way to go, Tuomas. Silver. Ooh, did that flip up too straight? As long as he can get a bit of flair, which he does, but he still is, a, is about edge of circle. We'll have to put in a bit of work to get his first birdie on this back nine. Yeah. As they discuss now, if Nicholas's shot came back. Oh. Oh, that is not cool. Oh, and look at how far back he is. He did ride the line the whole way. I think tough to see exactly from the tee where he may have crossed, but an agreement comes from the card. And Nicholas throwing lands himself just within the circle. That will be his third throw, but his fourth stroke now as he attempts to make his bogey save. Oh, just high off the top band for Nicholas. That is going to be a double bogey. Happens quickly. Not what you want on this back end. I think especially not on hole 13 as Lowry hunts his birdie. Unfortunately, he's a little bit low. Silver up next to secure a birdie. Get him on the board for the back nine as he will. There it is. Six down for the round. Eleven down now. Only two strokes off of Lowry. Look out. In classic silver fashion, he likes to get his pars early and then begins to heat up towards the backside of the holes. Nicholas taking his five and the other competitors putting their putts in. Moving on. Let's kick it into hole 14. Par 305 meters. At that open tee shot again, right to left curve. Then you got this small hazard coming in right in front of the tree covered, OB surrounded basket. Tough landing zone, really small landing zone to hit, but still on this back nine, this is one you want to get. All right, we got Tuomas up first here. Beautiful hole 14. Looking for that nice big hyzer. Can he beat the tree and the hazard? He does. Fires on through the branches and puts himself four, four or five meters away. Great throw. That is a gorgeous spike hyzer there. Great distance control. Puts it right on the ground and sticks it. Silver, unfortunately, coming up a little early out of the hand, catching an early tree. As we see Lowry now giving it a lot more height as well, looking to crash through that guardian tree. Also sneaks just on through. He is within the circle. Niklas. Looking to come back from that double bogey. Heiser's looking great. Just come on in. Oh, that's parked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is beautiful. That will really help the confidence level for the last four holes. As we see Silver now lining up his approach, still some work left to be done. Hazard is in play, but due to his placement, it actually allows him to go for that light right, left to right forehand shape, but gets a little bit caught up on the way. Yeah, lots of trees in between him and the basket. That is no small feat. There Lowry you go. With the straddler, gets right back on that horse and puts in his birdie putt. That's the way. Gain some ground now. That was capitalizing on the moment. 
and silver for his three. He looks to be just within the circle, but a few trees in his way. The stroke unobstructed, but definitely a tricky putt as he goes just high. And Tuomas putting in his birdie. Fantastic tee shot by him. Stress-free there. And with that birdie to Silver's bogey, Tuomas will overtake Silver now. That's a good point. As Silver taps that in, goes to minus five for the round, Tuomas sneaks ahead by a stroke. And Niklas, super parked, just taps in his birdie as well. Three birdies, one bogey. Oh, hole 15. <laughs> the par 3, 62 meter, tightest gap you're ever going to see. Just please hit it. Don't kick right or left. And then when you think you're done, you got to get up this huge rock that the basket's perched on. It's a shorty. But man, it's got some sharp teeth. A mean 62 meters, no doubt. We see Tuomas up first, flipping up his forehand straight down the pipe. Oh, a nearly it. perfect throw, but punished by the ground play, rolls away into the woods. That looked to be near perfection. Unfortunate result, but a good throw. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. That was a really nice shot, and he rolled way far away. Lowry catching a few branches on his way, slows him down at the base of the hill. He'll have an uphill putt from maybe edge of circle. And yeah, Nicholas. it's definitely a tester there from the bottom of the rock. Classic death putt scenario. Nicholas with a very overstable disc, it looks like, slides up onto the top of that hill. I think he'll even have a... A lateral putt. I don't think Nicholas will be going uphill from there, so that might be a good spot for him. Yeah, he should be happy from that spot. Silver, unfortunately, flipping it over with his sidearm, and he is just on the edge of the tree line. He should have an unobstructed. Yeah, I'm just laying it up. On this hole, if you do miss the tunnel... If you still have a three, I think you're happy. Kicking left or right, as you mentioned, can be very troublesome. We see Tuomas here from the bushes. Looks like he has a little gap. Oh, yeah, buddy. Get some, Tuomas. Wow. Beautiful recovery. That's three in a row now for Tuomas, as he's also looking very comfortable. Nicholas with just a flat putt here for his birdie. Yeah, just like you thought, that's a huge advantage on this hole. And Lowry with his uphill look. Although Nicholas looked to be quite close, so if Lowry is putting, he may be closer than we thought. Just a couple meters, and he makes sure to put that one in as well. This lead card is heating up. That's the way. That's a that's like the shortest putt I think I've seen from the bottom of the rock. That's the right side to get, I guess. Just dead straight at it. Anywhere off to the sides is much more of a much more putt to hit. Hole sixteen, par four, one hundred and seventy nine meters. Got OB surrounding the entire fairway and around the basket. About three quarters down the fairway though, right side has a Mando keeping you honest, making you shoot the dog leg. But watch out on that landing, as we like to call it. There is a drop off behind the basket, as well as OB. It is Beware. a nasty slope, very mean so easy to slide off OB with what looks like a good shot out of the head. Couple spectators taking it easy enjoying hole 16. You love Camping to see Camping out it. for the weekend nonetheless. Tuomas up first. I'm going to expect from a lot of these players here the huge backhand rip on the first and probably a forehand approach on the second as we see a beautiful shot by Tuomas putting himself in a 
great position. Maybe you want to be a little bit more left to open up the angle of the approach, but he crushed that. Yeah, as we saw yesterday, there is a gap to cut the corner just after the Mando, right through the trees. It is risky, but it is there if you are a little too far to the right. As we see Lowry putting his drive right next to Tuomas. Yeah, you just need the distance to get past or up to the Mando to take that shortcut, but definitely something all of these players have on the lead card. Nicholas looking to get a little bit flippy here. Gets one up to flat and fades out left a bit earlier than the others, but he should have a nice wide open angle for his second. Silver now. Oh, this has got to turn over, but this looks great. Keeping it to the left side, full flex. Didn't get quite as far as the others, but he is, in my in my opinion, in a much better position. Definitely a nice shot. We see Nicholas here lining up that forehand hyzer approach, and look at the touch as he Whoa. gets the little skip bounce up. He puts himself a meter short. Just a masterful display of that approach shot there. Silver now looking for something similar. Oh, and he does it as well. That was just as touchy, just as beautiful. You are unlikely to see these approaches go long here. Tuomas, nice use of the hyzer to control his distance, but leaving himself with a scary putt. Yeah, that's that tester. That's... You don't want that. We see these guys crushed it so far they don't even need the shortcut. We're talking about how they might be pinched off, but with their drives being so huge. Oh, Lowry oh, no. with a jump putt approach. We didn't see if he rolled away. There are a few hills there that may have caught him. Tuomas. Great putt. Great putt. Wow. But if Tuomas went first, I believe Lowry should be safe. That was ice cold by Tuomas with the hill and OB directly behind. Lowry oh. now. Now, Lowry did go OB from that. With the par, he will have taken his penalty stroke. He takes par here on hole 16. Unfortunate OB for Lowry, but he brings it back nicely from the bottom of the hill. And Nicholas now taking his time. Swaps to the straddle. Great birdie there. Now that'll move him to five down with his own turkey. Ten down total. As three of our competitors tap in their birdies, he Lowry, Lowry with the lone par. Exciting stuff. Two left to go on this round two coverage. All right, we got 17, par 308 meters, left to right curve with the OB surrounding the entire fairway as well as behind the basket. You do have a little bit of room there. Got a slight hump before the basket as well. You need to get your drive just over that to kind of land it soft, get it to slide up there. Otherwise, you got a bit of a tester. Tuomas with four in a row through his last four. Really looking comfortable, looking for a big Anheuser backhand. We'll see if he can get the full flight out of this. Riding on over, flattening out. Ooh, panning out great, and that looks to be safe. I believe edge of circle, maybe even within. A decent shot for sure. Nicholas now also opting for the big Anheuser line. Yeah, you get a lot more right to left, left to right movement, if you will, making that a little bit more gettable than the sidearm for the birdie. The sidearm, I think, is the safer play, more consistent play, but you're probably going to be outside the circle. There are two gaps, though, that open up with the forehand option. That leftmost gap of the tree, the biggest one, which Silver just took. We also saw that inside gap on the right, splitting the trees for a bit of a flex line. 
You but are correct there. None of these players here today opting for that as Lowry also takes a nice turnover backhand, slides up right next to Thomas. Yeah, that seems to be really nice positioning for this hole. This does not seem to be the best or the easiest angle to achieve. Certainly not the fifth most difficult hole here today, and we have four birdie putts, but Nicholas catches the weak side and falls out a good bit. Thomas up for his birdie and cashes that in there. Five in a row. Let's look at this replay here. Pushes up off the earth, gives a little flick, and it is dead on the whole way. Beautiful. Just outside the circle putt. We can see why he was leading coming into this now. No doubt. Oh, and Silver catching the same left side as Nicholas falls just out next to the basket. They'll be taking their threes. Lowry for his two. Oh, yeah. Keep it going, Lowry. That'll bring him to nine down. And he's, he's had, what, two bogeys? I believe so. Maybe even three. Ah, sorry, no. On 16, he did go OB but managed to save the par. So that is with two bogeys this round. That's hot shooting. He saw Tuoma sneaking up on him at 14 under, and Lowry said, let me keep this distance, putting himself to 16 under par, moving into hole 18. Our lead card feeling good. Can he go to double digits? Well, we've got this a hole 18, par 315 meter shot. You're basically carrying the water the entire way. If you don't make it over the wa over that OB line on the other side, you can go to a drop zone or take normal OB depending on where you went. It is your choice. But this hole can be a doozy. There is no doubt Big risk for big numbers here, but Tuomas up first, looking for a big hyzer. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Ricochets off those banisters, swings it back in. That's a lucky break there, but great shot from Tuomas. Puts himself close. Gosh, call it some love at the end of the round, whatever you want to call it. Can't ask for much more than that. You really cannot. Lowry here just digging in his hyzer right by the basket. Bounces a little bit long, but open look for his birdie as well. These men are here to play. Yeah, just continuing to put on a show for us off the tee. Niklas looking to copy the line a little bit lower, a little bit more direct. Comes up about the same position, just around circle's edge, maybe a little outside. And I think these players are happy to put themselves on the island and give themselves a putt. Silver with a big forehand. It looks very low, but can it ride? Oh, yeah. Oh. That is a smooth throw from Silver there. Whenever they're so low like that, you can really expect a pop-up skip. And oh man, I thought it was going to go in for a second. Nicholas getting us started here with the putts. Let's see this replay as he drops in his two to end out round two. Oh yeah, big old whip from the wrist there. Lofting it in though. Beautiful, beautiful outside the circle putt. Good stuff for sure. Lowry now for his two. This would put him for 10 under through the round. Oh, Get yeah. It. That man really taking a commanding lead in this round, too. As he drops in his beautiful straddle putt. Double digits on this course. That is on fire. With a few bogeys. Crazy yeah. stuff. All right, Thomas for a double turkey and to capitalize on that amazing kick off the... oh, oh yeah. yeah this card is feeling it Nicholas Lowry 
Tuomas all putting in their long putts. Silver to close it out on a star frame. Let's go, man. 18. Why not? Pulling out the star frame. Beautiful ending to round two here. Impressive stuff. That was a battle. What a show. What a what a birdie fest. Oh my gosh. As we see just a sea of green, Lowry 10 down through round two, putting himself to 17 under. Close behind him on this lead card is Tuomas Etienne. Silver at 12, Nicholas at 11 under. Let's see what our field had to say about it. As we look through 18, we do see Lowry and Tuomas holding those top two spots, but sneaking into third, Piri Jutsen at 9 under for the round. Really nice by him. And another 10 under by Temu, sneaking up to fifth. Silver with his 7 under this round has secured his spot on the lead card for round three. Exciting stuff. 18 holes left to go. Well, thank you guys for sticking with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Be sure to tune in. Got round three coverage. Final round coming up for you. Stay tuned. Some good stuff on the way. Over and out.